Well, how about that? This is one of those I was wrong videos that I am happy to make. This is a good day. So, the last couple of videos where I did mention Yast, I really kicked it in the teeth and I was wrong. And I appreciate those that spent a few minutes of their time to message me in the in the replies and say that's not the case for me or it works for me. In this case, I'm talking about the Yast printer config. And I've been used to um, PDE Plasma 5 with Tumbleweed. Yast would not relinquish control of the printer config. But apparently, since KDE Plasma 5, or since KDE Plasma 6, now the Plasma 6 printer control config will now work in conjunction with YAST printer control config. So, I don't like YAST printer config, so I just now I can just use KDE Plasma config. And, yeah, it's that's awesome. And... We're going to check it out real quick. Go into system settings from the KDE Plasma. Going to get printers. Here's my printer list, which we had before. You could see the printers list before. You just couldn't add any. You couldn't edit anything. So now I can click add printer and it asks for a password, which it didn't do before. I can hit OK. It's going to find my printers. And I already have all the printers set up, but what I'll do is I'll just I'll just set it up again. And there's my new printer config and hit add. Configuring printer, please wait. And now I have two. This one I set from Yast and this one I set from ADE Plasma. And I can select any of these. I will select that one. I'll go into that one and I'll change it to default printer. Hit apply. And now it's the default printer, which isn't my printer, but so I'm just going to change it back to this one is my default printer. And you can even change settings. So I'm going to click on my my default right here and I can click configure up here and now I can configure it all. Nice and simple. Drop down buttons. Love it. Love it. And it's just a black and white printer, so that's why it's a grayscale, but yeah, I'm I'm loving this. This this is a good day. So I'm happy to be wrong in this case. And you know what? I am not gonna dog Yast anymore because the things I don't like about Yast are now gone. I can use this. Thank you, people, for letting me know. And I am a hardhead. I'm I'm an old, grumpy old hardhead, and I wasn't listening. But apparently, since KDE Plasma 6, it works. And yes, I've done several installs of Tumbleweed with Plasma 6. I just never tried it. I went straight to the Yast printer config to add my printers, and that was a failure on my part. So, yeah. I'm happy to be wrong in this case. And the only other thing which I already do a workaround is the Yast Partition Manager. I don't like it either, so I just use the Plasma Partition Manager. KDE's Partition Manager. I have to put in the password twice, and I'm assuming that's one password for the two hard drives that I have. But yeah, I just use this, and it's a lot easier. But all my gripes of Yast are gone, and the things that I like, that I do like about Yast, are still there. The boot manager, the repository control, stuff like that is still there. I still have Yast. I will not fuss about it anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up the Yast printer config. And if it worked properly, I should have two 6,000 printers. And I do. I have two of the 6,000 printers ready. Just like that. 
happy. Makes me so happy. <sighs> I apologize to the Yast people. I do. I'm happy. I'm very happy. So, the other things in here that I do like, uh, you can configure your software repositories, software management. Software management, you can go in there and you can, you can select certain packages to not update in that. So, that's good. Bootloader, I changed my boot time so that I only have a two or three second countdown. Network settings, I change it from the default name. Partitioner, talked about that a minute ago. Don't use it. Uh, what else? Kernel settings. I don't even know what kernel settings is. Yeah, uh, I still don't know what it is. <laughs> this, oh, and another thing that I use from time to time is alternatives, which is somewhere here. There it is. So this one's really good. Like if you have more than one boot manager or uh, not boot manager, uh, login manager. You look right here. Display uh, default display manager. I can edit and I can select from other display managers console XDM. If you have light DM or GDM, this is where you can change which ones which one you're you're using. So that's a good thing. And you know what? I'm I'm happy. It's a good day. Thank you everybody for uh, making me look at it. A little closer really user and group management stuff like that security center firewall which I don't have turned on app armor a lot of good stuff here Samba server you can set up your Sambas and I have done that and it works good so I am no longer a Yast hater it's a good day even old dogs can learn new tricks right there you go I'm happy. Thank y'all. <sighs> I guess that's it for this video. A little short and sweet. So, as always, until next time, thanks for watching.